As we've been talking about all morning, Drew Peterson sits in jail this morning, arrested in the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Salvia. Peterson has stayed in the media spotlight since his fourth wife, Stacy, disappeared in 2007. This morning, the front page of the Chicago Sun-Times features a full-page photo of Peterson smiling as he was led away by police. A one-word headline, cuffed. The Tribune's front page shows Peterson's mugshot. It reads, charged with murder. Legal expert Thomas Glasgow joins us now this morning with a closer look at the case. Always good to have you here. Good morning. So, so talk to us about this case. What eventually led up to the arrest yesterday? The gathering of the evidence by the state's attorney finally taking it. Uh, they've been working to take this before the grand jury and present the evidence to the grand jury in order to get the uh, two charges, the two counts for the indictment for murder. So you talk about evidence, uh, now they're talking about this hearsay evidence and it will be allowed, thanks to the state legislature. Is this constitutional? Do you think this will be allowed in this case? That's a very good question. Uh, the constitutionality of this particular thing, uh, what they're basically saying is that an out-of-court statement by someone who was murdered in, so that they wouldn't testify could be allowed in. And mm -hmm. this was special legislation that was put before the, the legislature in order to uh, Give us another exception to the hearsay rule. Hear, hearsay is very easy. Hearsay is, you know, Judy saw Tracy shoot somebody and then she writes it down. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't use that written statement because I can't cross-examine the mm -hmm. written statement. Oh, yeah. You're now yeah. then allowing that in under this exception with Kathleen Savio's statements to the state's attorney right. or mm -hmm. uh, Stacey Peterson's statements to the priest mm -hmm. that will come in. Now, the defense is put in a very awkward situation in that they can't then cross-examine this. Oh, yeah. And this is not like a bank robbery or a drug case. This is a murder where, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking about several years. The seriousness of the case is so important that it may not be held constitutional for two reasons. First, the, the, the unfairness to the defendant. And second, because the Illinois Constitution prohibits special legislation against individuals. This was commonly known down in Springfield as the Drew Peterson Law. Wow. So that would be another angle that they could take. Wow. Now, what about Drew Peterson has been so outspoken in all the interviews that he has done and everything that he has said? Can that be used in court? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, his actions and his demeanors, uh, demeanor after uh, the disappearance of Stacy Peterson and his flippant actions, his bizarre behavior, uh, the dating, the you know, security guard at a bordello, etc., those are all things that I would use as a prosecutor to show this guy didn't care. This guy really did end up killing somebody. Oh, we've got just a few seconds left. I was just want to know before we go yeah. how you think this affects the Stacy Peterson case. Well, you still don't have a body in the Stacy Peterson mm -hmm. case. So without a body, it's very difficult to prosecute. Um, it's not that you can't prosecute it, but it makes it much, much more difficult if you don't have a body. All right, thank you. As You're always, very welcome. We appreciate yeah. your legal expertise. It's good to see you. Guys. Good to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Thomas.